Hi guys, Tom here. Um, I just want to do a quick video just talking about a question that I get a fair bit, which is what type of cleat should I have on my road bike, on my mountain bike, those kind of things. Now, the general overview, okay, mountain biking shoes, cleats, for they're called clipless pedals, um, which is confusing, but that's because they don't no longer have a strap over the foot. Instead, you've got a cleat underneath. Mountain bike, this is generally the consensus at the moment. It's a Shimano SPD pedal. It's for mountain biking. The reason why it's good for mountain biking is because you can see that it's recessed into this part of the shoe, which means that when you've got to get out and do a bit of hiker bike, um, it's okay and it's gonna be safe and you can walk around in them no problem. Um, the other thing is they're super easy and super fast to get in and out of, um, and they've got a fair bit of float on them as well. So the downside is that you move around a lot, the upside is that they're super durable, they're made of metal as well, so you won't wear them out like you can your road shoes. Now, on the other hand, you got your road ones. These are also Shimano, they're also SPD pedals. Um, there are different types, so this is the most common type from Shimano, and they come in three colors. You've got the red, which has zero degrees of float, no float, can't move. Then you've got these, which are two degrees of float, that's one degree each way. Now, what's interesting about these is that the float point, so where it rotates from, is actually up here, okay? Rather than the other ones, which are down here, which I'll show you in a second, two degrees of float. A good happy medium, still feels really stiff, still feels like you know, you're really stuck into your shoe, which can be a really good thing, especially if you like to go fast or, or made a lot of watts. Now, the last one is the yellow. Now, these are the most common that people tend to come in with and the rotation point is right in the middle here. So you can get more, and rather than the two degrees of float, it's six degrees of float, so you can move around a lot more. So straight away, as you can imagine, if you are new to using cleats, this is the way to go. If you've got knee issues and you've not had a physio or a bike fitter fit your cleats for you, the safe option is to go with these guys here because you've got a lot more room to move and you're less likely to hurt yourself. Saying that, Personally, I really, really like the blues. I used to use reds, they were good too. We're moving to blues, I noticed hardly any difference, but maybe a little bit more comfort and a little bit more variation, especially for those really long rides. So, lots to choose from. If you're new to the game and you're on the road, these are the way to go. Yellow, lots of float, lots of room to move. Still though, you can still definitely stuff this up. Um, so if you're in doubt, either have a look at the blog that I'm writing or just have a look online or get a bike fit. Okay, that's it. And if you're on the mountain bike, go for these. They're bulletproof. You can use them all the time and you're unlikely to fall over while you're wearing your mountain biking shoes, which is also a really important factor. All right, happy riding.